Hi everyone, it's Jenna Massey from Clean Fitness. I am here to give you a quick kettlebell workout. So you're only gonna need two pieces or one piece of equipment. Um, I recommend a heavy kettlebell and a lighter kettlebell because we will be doing some offset stuff. Um, and the AMRAP that is in this workout will involve some single arm movements. So you're probably gonna wanna go with a lighter kettlebell. So I would recommend half of the weight of the heavy kettlebell. So we're gonna start with a 50-10 circuit, twice through, so it'll be 10 minutes, five different moves. We're gonna repeat those moves two other times, lowering the circuit time. So we'll go from 40-10 to 30-10, okay? And then we have some EMOMs and AMRAPs in there too, and I'll explain them when we get there. So we're gonna start with using your heavier, I'm actually gonna use two. I have a 50 and a 40 that I'm gonna use just because I have them, and some of the moves are a little bit um, easier with a 40 than a 50. So, I'm gonna do a reset swing to a power clean, a suitcase deadlift. So one side's gonna hold the weight and do a deadlift while the other one's gonna do a like thruster kind of. Now we're gonna do an alternating uh, swing with a squat swing. So alternating that kettlebell, down and push up, bringing the weight to an upright row. And then we're gonna alternate a swing with a reverse lunge. And you'll see as we move along. My timer, we have 10 seconds. I'm gonna use the 50 pound for the reset to the power clean. You have 10 seconds. So I like to stand back and then do that reset. So swing and then lowering the weight, going in three seconds, and then hopping up for the power clean. So you're gonna swing, reset it, hop up, power clean. Swing, and then clean. So kind of changing that grip on the bell, keeping your core tight through these entire series of movements, clean, down, swing, reset, back, forward, clean, keeping that core tight, swing it, reset, and clean it. All right, rest. So we're gonna to move to a suitcase. It's really kind of like a hybrid deadlift. And then actually I'm gonna do my 40 for that one. Arms up. You're gonna squat and then press. So my other bell is 25 pounds. So you can see me. Keeping that core tight. Once you get the movement, you can really be more dynamic. Going into that squat and press. We got alternating swing, squat swing. So I'm also gonna use my 40 for that one. swing to a squat swing. All right, swing it and then squat swing and then switch. Swing it, squat swing, alternating. Swing it, squat swing. Swing it, squat swing. Diamond push up, upright row. I'm gonna go with my 50 for that one. All right. So, laying your bell flat for the diamond push up. Go in three seconds. All right, so push up, pop your feet up into an upright row. So 
hopefully this workout will be under 40, we'll see. It is all timed, so. It's a little over. It's because I'm talking too much. We got alternating swing into that reverse lunge. I'm gonna do my 40 for that. Going in three seconds. After this one, we go back to the start. I'll start with my right this round. I don't even see the timer, so. So, swing and catch, reverse lunge. We're gonna alternate. Swing, catch, reverse lunge. Control movements. So that reset is next. And we'll go back to my heavier bell. The swinging is a hinging hip movement, okay? You gotta keep your core tight and squeeze your glutes. Reset, power clean. I'll do it this way so you can see me. Maybe see the timer. <laughs> and go. So, so, reset. Pop it up. Power clean. So, just two times through each time we do the circuit. But this will be the longest time. Got that suitcase again. One side. Three seconds. All right. Other hand. Other side with the heavier. Clean it up. Okay, so squat and press. So you know if you can get through this round, the 40-10 will get a little bit easier and you might be a little more fatigued. <laughs> Press it back. Do your heels. Alternating swing squat is next. Switching hands. A lot of core in kettlebell moves. Twenty seconds. I can tell that one side's stronger than the other. Those squat swings. That's why we do alternating. All right, upright row and a diamond. Keep the butt down, up the back. There and then traps. It's really a burpee. It's a sneaky way of putting a burpee in there.
Do that reverse lunge with a swing. I'm going to use my 40. Because my messages come through. <laughs> All right, here we go. Three seconds. I'm going to just throw my left. Swing and a catch. And reverse lunge. Go to the side so you can see the timer. We're almost done this round. And the sweat is starting already. Don't feel comfortable. One plank up, and then one down left. So I like to just add a deadlift. <laughs> two power cleans. One, two, and then back for three swings. One, two, three. We got that was four. Squat jumps. I'll get this eventually. For three, one, two, and three. Two upright rows. One. Two, and one hand clean. So going down into a power squat. Hope I got that all in there. We got 23 seconds to rest. I hope I didn't miss anything in there. <laughs> oh, I probably did one less than what I think. So in 14 seconds, we're gonna do that again. We're gonna do a plank hop, two deadlifts, three power cleans, and so on and so on. Going in five seconds. Two. And one, plank up, come up for two deadlifts. So one, squeeze in the glutes, and two, three power cleans. So down the dead, two a power clean. Three, then we're gonna pop it back for four swings. One, we got three squat jumps, pop it up. One, two, and three, two upright rows, one, two, one hand clean. So down, squat, and up. All right, that's down. I think I missed something ever. <laughs> All right, 15 seconds, we go again for round three. Like I said, you can put your hands beside the dumbbell or the kettlebell for the plank hop. Now we're going to. Okay, plank up, come on up. I'm doing two deadlifts from the upright position. I can actually one time Three, power cleans. One, so you're just changing that grip, squeezing your glutes. Four swings. One, two, three, four, pop it up, four, squat jumps. One, two, and three. Two upright rows. One, two, and one hand clean. All right. We have five more rounds. Get ready. We got ten seconds. Going in five with that plank hop and. Go. 
up and then up two levels one three power queens i think i know it now by heart one two and three four swings one the good muscles you're using three four we got three squat jumps one two and three two upright rows one two and one hand clean put it down oh all right 17 seconds we're halfway there four more rounds we're going in five seconds Two, one, and up, and up, one, and three power cleans, one, two, just hinging at your hips, three, four swings, one, two, three, four, three squat jumps, one, Two and three. Two upright rows. And one hand clean. All right, three more rounds. So I'm consistent, kind of, <laughs> on how long it takes me. We got 10 minutes for round six. Going in five. Two, plank up. One, and two, clean. Two, and three. One, two, three, four. One, two, Three, two upright rows, one hand clean. All right, oh, two more rounds, oh no. That's not good. <laughs> Going in 10 seconds. Three. Round seven. Put it back. Two. Two, one. Two. One. Two. Three. One. Two. Three. And four. One. Two. Two, one hand clean. All right, one more round. We got this. And then we're gonna mess up again. Twice through, 40, 10. Going in eight seconds. Start with that plank hop. Three, two, and one. One, two, power clean. One, two, three, swings for four. One, two, three, four, squat jumps. One, two, three, upper moves. One, two, and then one hand clean. <laughs> I almost forgot. <laughs> and that's it. All right. Oh, we're done with that one. I'm gonna drink water. And then we're gonna start with that 40, 10. <sighs> same, same moves, so we know them. It's just we'll kind of go a little bit faster. All right, so we're probably gonna use the same weights. 
We're going to start with that reset to power clean in 10 seconds. So I'm going with my 50s. So swing it, reset it, pop it up, power clean. I know, I did some of this already. <laughs> Back, we can do that reset. I'm only back because I can't see the timer. <laughs> I don't know how much longer we have. All right, <laughs> suitcase. So I got my 40. Now I'm going to clean. Set me up. One, the press. My hands are slippery. <laughs> so we'll do the other side next round. We got that alternating swing squat. Stick to the 40. Get that offside balance, like one side is fighting. We got diamond push ups. We got a right row. In a few seconds. Here we go. Up the back. We got alternating swing with a reverse line. I'll go back to my 40s. Make sure my hands aren't so sweaty next time. So back to that reset with the power clean. seconds. Here we go. Sling it. We set it down. Up it in. Clean. So important to keep your core tight. Helps protect your back. Swing. And clean. Remember where that's Suitcase squat with the press. All right, let me 
on this and clean it. And on the other side. These are hard. <laughs> Harder than I thought they were. And in all honesty, I probably could have gone lighter on the press part. Maybe a little more fluid. Five seconds. And then we got all these swing, squat, swing. Seconds. We got those diamonds. I'll go with my 50. Here we go. It's me resting. Kettlebell's always get my heart up. I like them. It's like this cardio component, but athletic and power. And core involved. It's kind of like total body moves, functional moves. Then we have that crunching in reverse lunge with that swing. And we got an arm That is it. Good job. Now we have a six minute and wrap. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do um I'm gonna go away right <laughs> this one. And we're gonna do increasing reps. So it'll move along for six minutes until you're done. Until that six minutes is done. You're just gonna add a rep to each exercise, but we're, it's gonna be one-sided. So we'll do one side and the other, and alternate five moves. You can follow my lead. It's also written below in the comments. Wow, I really, I've been doing this for like three minutes. Okay, where are you? Here we go. We're starting in 10 seconds. Like I said, I'm gonna use my 25. Um, actually, I'm gonna take my watch off. Cause it's gonna knock my watch. So we're gonna start with one swing. Single arm swing. Single arm clean. Single arm clean and press. And you can do a snatch. And then go right away down and do a regular slunge. Okay, and we're gonna swing switch with the next. I've been practicing those um snatches all the time. Clean, clean, and then press. And a snatch, bring the weight down. And actually, you know what? I'm gonna turn it into an overhead lunge. Okay, so I'm swinging and switching to two swings. One, two, and a clean. And clean, clean, and press for two. Two snatches. 
stretches. And two reverse lunges. One. And two, one, that's gone. We're gonna do the other side for two. Two swings. One, two, clean for two. We comes up, clean. You can totally do this with a dumbbell. And two, snatches. Two reverse lunges. One, and two. We're gonna switch and do three. One, two, now I think I have the movement. <laughs> three, and we're gonna clean. One, two, three. Three clean the presses. One, two, and three, and three snatches. One, two minutes. Two, and three. Reverse lunges for three. One, two, and three. Bring it down, switch, other side. The only thing bad is if we're not equal, I have to like make us equal. I don't even like that. That bothers me. One, two, and three. Clean and press. One, two, Three, three snatches. Three, three reverse lunges. I'll change my direction so you can see the snatches. But the kettlebell is something you have to kind of practice. Four swings. One, three, halfway there. Two, three, four. Clean over one. Two, three, get the core tight. Four, clean the presses. One, two, three, and four. Snatches. One, two, three, and four. Reverse lunges. One, you need your balance. Two, three, and four. Bring it down, we're switching. And one, two, three, four. Clean, clean. One, two minutes left. Two, three, four. Clean your presses. One, two, three, one more, four snatches, one, two, three, and four, reverse lunges. sides. One, two, three, four, and five. Five cleans. One, two, three, four, and five. Five cleaning presses. One, two, three, Clean 
minute. One, two, three, four, keep going. Five, five, ten presses. One, two, three, four, five, five snatches. One, two, three, four, and five. Five reverse lunges. One, two, three, four, and five. All right, I apologize. Took a little bit longer, probably close to another minute. So, this is it. Last. Thing we have to do for 10, those same six, I'm sorry, five exercises, twice through. Pray my timer doesn't die on me. We're gonna go on, 640. Time with that reset into the power. Whew. Here we go. Start with that reset. Should go quick. Just 30 seconds each move. Seven seconds. Then you have that offset squat. Like fighting. Eight seconds. All right, alternating swing, squat swing. Three seconds. Here we go. Swing it, squat swing, and switch. Swing it, squat swing. Alternating swing with that reverse lunge. Go on my 40s. I'll put it over here when I need that. Swing and catch. Reverse lunge. Back to the start. Let's put reset with the power clean. Actually, move it over here. Reset. <laughs> Just constantly moving around. All right, reset swing. Don't lose focus. Almost done. We got about three minutes. 
Five seconds, and then we have that alternating swing, squat swing. Alright, we don't need to assess anymore. We're gonna start with the left. Swing. Start with my left. Oh, here we go. Swinging to catch. exercises, um, you know, repeating so you know what you're doing, you can kind of focus on those movements, and also it's a lot of core, so, oh, I hope you enjoyed it, let me know, please, I take requests, if there's certain things that you want or are looking for, let me know um, in the comments, and uh, like this video, and subscribe, tell your friends, um, hope you have a good day, thanks.